Hey everyone, this is the Dennis Wick number four trombone mouthpiece, and in my opinion, it's one of the finest brass mouthpieces ever designed. It was originally designed in the 1960s by a Mr. Dennis Wick of the London Symphony Orchestra, principal trombonist of the London Symphony Orchestra. You can hear his playing on the original Star Wars soundtrack. Great, huge, full sound. Originally, Mr. Wick designed this mouthpiece as part of what was, in his words, the trombone revolution in London. The London Symphony Orchestra began using Con 8 and 88H large bore trombones. And originally they were trying out Vincent Bach 4Gs with them. They had a couple weaknesses. Um, the trombonists in the section really needed to be able to play a reliable high D. And they found that the Vincent Bach was a bit unreliable. The other weakness was it had a tendency towards anonymity in soft playing. So... Was it a horn? Was it a euphonium? Was it a trombone? Hard to tell. So, 1966, Mr. Wick uh, finds a, an old 19th century Salvation Army euphonium mouthpiece, and that sort of forms the basis for this design. He plays around with it a bit. It's not quite right, so during a tour to New York City with the LSO, he takes it to Bob Gardinelli's shop. Uh, Gardinelli, at the time, very well-known mouthpiece maker. Takes a look at it, takes it into the back of his shop for a few minutes, comes out, and he's taken a sliver of metal off the bottom of the cup, and voila, that was it. The mouthpiece had no bad notes, uh, and a rich, full, loud sound, real trombone quality to the sound, and particularly in the soft plane. Now this started um, what was to become a, you know, an international company. Dennis Wick these days makes trombone, euphonium, trumpet, tuba, French horn mouthpieces, the whole brass line, and uh, endorsed by a lot of players. Uh, very popular piece. I've been playing on the four for a long time. Um, it has the all Dennis Wick mouthpieces tend to have pretty wide rims, which really helps for me with endurance playing. Um, the four, in particular, has a nice deep cup and a. Uh, and uh, quite an open throat. I think it's seven point. It's almost seven point four millimeters at the Venturi, um, which is allows it to take a lot of air. Really helps that forte volume of sound. Um, deep cup, and I think the cup diameter is about twenty six millimeters. So similar to the to the four G. Now most Dennis Wicks have a flat. It's a wide rim, but it's also quite flat. And that really throws a lot of people off. But I found after playing on his mouthpieces for many years, um, I'm kind of used to it at this point. And, and I really don't... This is such a comfortable mouthpiece, in my opinion, to, to in my experience. I've tried a lot of different mouthpieces at this size, and I keep coming back to this one. It's It's just... It's brilliant. It it does everything you need it to do. Really plays with a full, um, uh, full quality of tone at all the dynamic ranges. Um, endurance is great on it, and the high range. Even though it's it's got this large throat, deep cup, um, deep and wide cup. It, I find the the upper register is still quite accurate with it. Now this one in particular 
is a euphonium version of the Dennis Wick 4, the 4AM. Now, if you go and peruse low brass <laughs> forums on the internet, which is an adventure all of its own, you're going to find that there are many euphonium players out there that prefer this mouthpiece, uh, that keep coming back to this mouthpiece. And it makes sense, right? The original design that this mouthpiece is based off of, um, it's based off of that 19th century euphonium mouthpiece, right? So it kind of makes sense that it works for a lot of euphonium players. Um, this one, as I pointed out, is the 4AM. M stands for medium shank. So this is meant to fit a European style euphonium mouthpiece receiver. It's kind of in between a uh, large bore trombone, tenor trombone, and a small bore tenor trombone. This comes in all different um, styles that Dennis Wick makes. This is the classic design. It comes in a, a heavy top design, which um, I don't know if I prefer this anymore, but uh, it's what I bought originally and it worked really well with the trombone I was pairing it to at the time. I think I'm going to replace this 4AL heavy top with a classic uh, shape design in the future, but this still works really well. The heavy top, uh, they say it adds more projection, I guess. It does, it's it's hard to tell for your average listener the difference between this and the classic design. That Does the heavier weight add a bit more projection? Yes, a little. Um, to me, it's more of a feel thing. You get more of feedback at the lips when you're playing on a heavy top mouthpiece. Um, they also make this in a, what they're calling their heritage uh, style, which is a very thin rim with a sort of a bowl-shaped bottom. So it's heavy at the bottom, very light at the top, kind of the reverse of their classic design. But honestly, I prefer the classic style Dennis Wick pieces. Anyway, that's the Dennis Wick 4. If you're curious about Dennis Wick, in my opinion, they're a great line of mouthpieces. Check them out. You can usually get their classic design pieces um, in silver plating for under under $100. So check them out yourself and let me know what you think.